Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Radha from IET Bhadal. Today we are going to talk on the module Diversity and its Management from Paper Organizational Behavior. In this module we will learn what is diversity, why do we need diversity management, what are the benefits of a diverse workforce, what are the issues to be focused on during the diversity management? What are the barriers in accepting diversity in the organization? Various challenges being faced in diversity management? How to manage diversity successfully? And what are various steps to increase the awareness about workforce diversity? And finally, recommendations for the diversity in the workplace solutions. Now we will understand what is diversity and what is workplace diversity. Diversity means mixture or multiplicity. At work, at workplace, it includes variety of various parameters. For example, race, sex, nationality, age, personality, style of decision making, education background, <coughs> etc. Workplace diversity refers to the variety of differences between people in an organization. It means bringing together people of different ethnic backgrounds, religions and age groups into an organized and constructive entity. Diversity management is a process intended to create and maintain a positive work environment where the similarities and differences of individuals are valued so that all can reach their potential and maximize their contributions to an organization's strategic goals and objectives. With many organizations going global, it's not uncommon to find people of different nationalities working together in an organization. So diversity management has gained lot of importance these days. There are two dimensions of workforce diversity, primary dimensions and secondary dimensions. The primary dimensions include age, gender, mental and physical abilities and characteristics, race, ethnic heritage and sexual orientation. Secondary dimensions include geographical location, cultural experience, work experience, income, religion, first language, hierarchical position in the organization, communication, work style, education level and family status. Now the question arises, why diversity management? Well, the diversity management can help the organization in a number of ways. For example, talent shortage. Diversity management can help recruit and retain the desired talent which otherwise becomes difficult to get in the same country or the region. It can also reduce unwelcomed uh, turnover and absenteeism among employees. Range of consumer needs. Organizations can best serve different customer groups in different markets with the help of diverse workforce even if the home base of the organization is located in a culturally different market. In communities or locations where other languages dominate, the organizations benefit from hiring employees who speak the dominant languages. Globalization Companies when start to operate at an international scale, choose an efficient location to operate. Prices of inputs vary all over the world, which attracts companies to shift some of their production to the countries with cheaper inputs such as uh, labor in developing countries, for it lowers the cost of production. So workforce diversity is a critical measure for those companies who seek to establish themselves in such countries. What are the benefits of having a diverse workforce? There are a number of benefits. The major benefit that a company gets is a greater understanding of the global marketplace. When management takes the welfare of its workers at heart by means of offering them proper compensation, health care and employee appraisal, 
it enables workers to feel they belong to the company irrespective of their cultural background by remaining loyal and hard hard working which increases productivity and profit each team member brings to the table different ideas due to different backgrounds and offers a unique perspective during problem solving to effectively arrive at the best solution in the shortest possible time diversity creates an opportunity for employees personal growth it helps them to intellectually reach out and have a clearer insight of their place in the global environment and hence their own surroundings workplace diversity can immensely strengthen a company's relationship with a specific group of customers by making communication more effective a customer service personnel can be paired up with customers from his own country making the customer feel at home with the representative and thus with the company a diverse collection of skills and experiences for example languages cultural understandings etc allows a company to provide service to customers on a global basis organizations employing a diverse workforce can supply a greater variety of solutions to the problems in service sourcing and allocation of resources as employees from diverse backgrounds bring individual talents and experiences companies that encourage diversity in the workplace inspire all of their employees to perform to their highest ability company wide strategies can then be executed resulting in higher productivity profit and return on investment what are the consequences of ignoring diversity overlooking diversity issues leads to the cost in terms of time funds and effectiveness some of the major consequences can include unhealthy tensions at the workplace increased disagreements resulting in lesser efficiency failure to attract and retain talented people of all kinds complaints and legal trials resulting into the lost investments and recruitment and training issues to be focused on during diversity management first is how to make the job sound appealing to different type of workers how can recruitment be optimally utilized for diverse groups third how to overcome bias in the interviewing process questions and interviewer's response towards the candidate to specify the need for skills to work effectively in a diverse environment in the job to make sure that good faith efforts are made to recruit a diverse applicant pool another issue is how to focus not only the job profile during the interview and assess knowledge but also to reflect on transferable skills and demonstrated competencies such as diagnostic managerial communication and harmonization how to implement panel interview format and ensure that the panel committee is from diverse backgrounds in terms of type of jobs division membership length of service variety of life experiences etc to represent different perspectives and thus to do away with prejudice during the selection process this implies to eliminate traces of unintentional bias during selection process then to analyze biases prevalent in the organization what stereotypes does the company have of the people from different groups and how effectively they execute the assigned job what communication styles are preferred in the company sometimes what is considered to be appropriate or desirable qualities in a candidate may reflect more about interviewer's personal preferences than about the skills needed to perform the job 
Now, what are the barriers to accept diversity at the workplace? It's commonly seen that employees are not comfortable accepting diversity. There are a lot of perceptions and bias about people of different communities or countries in the mind of employees. Despite knowing the fact that diversity is a positive and beneficial factor, every so often individuals experience several personal barriers in accepting diversity. Some of the barriers are 1. Prejudice It is an unjustified negative attitude towards a person belonging to a particular group. Ethnocentrism It is the tendency to regard one's own group or country or culture or religion as superior to others. Stereotypes It is a set of beliefs about a group that is applied universally to all members of that group. For example, all women are emotionally weaker than men. Stereotyping, whether positive or negative, is not good because the statement is not true for all the members of the referred group. Discrimination It refers to barring an individual from the membership of an organization or from a job because of his membership of a particular group. For example, a company hiring only men for the top position. Harassment is another barrier. It is intentionally shunning or verbally or physically abusing an individual because of his membership of a particular group. Sexual harassment. It is a process of approaching a person in an undesired, unsolicited, personal way, prying with that person's productivity or advancement. And last is the backlash. It is the negative reaction to the gaining of power and influence by the members of previously underrepresented groups, leading to resentment and reverse discrimination. It is important to focus on certain issues or challenges during the diversity management programs to ensure the full benefits of diversity. Some of these challenges are communication. Effective communication is very crucial to conquer perceptual, cultural and language obstacles for diversity programs to succeed. Ineffective communication about important goals leads to uncertainty, absence of teamwork and low morale. Resistance to change. Many employees decline to acknowledge the fact that the societal and cultural composition of their workplace is changing. The rigid mentality of doing things in the older ways create hurdles for new ideas and hampers development. Implementation of diversity in the workplace guidelines. This can be the principal challenge to all promoters of diversity in the organization. They must be equipped with the information of employee review and related details and should des design and execute customized strategy to maximize the benefits of diversity in the organization. Fourth is successful management of diversity in the workplace. Only providing diversity training is not enough for an organization's diversity management plan. A customized plan must be designed and implemented effectively to create a culture of diversity that pervades into every department and function of the organization. How to manage diversity effectively? Managing diversity involves various steps like increasing awareness, increasing diversity skills of employees, encouraging cultural and gender diversity, and commitment of top management towards diversity management. Let us discuss these measures one by one. Increasing understanding among employees. All diversity management programs should endeavor to increase managers and workers' awareness of 1. Their own attitude, biases and stereotypes. 2. The differing perspectives of diverse managers, subordinates, co-workers and customers. Diversity management program basically has the following goals. One is 
to provide organizational members with accurate information on diversity two recognition of personal biases and stereotypes three assessing personal beliefs attitudes values and learning about others point of view overturning inaccurate stereotypes and beliefs about different groups developing an atmosphere in which employees feel free to share their different perspectives and points of view improving understanding of others who are different from oneself increasing diversity skills efforts to enhance diversity skills focus on improving the interactions among managers and subordinates and their ability to work with different kinds of people guiding managers and other employees about why and how people differ in the way they think communicate approach issues and situations helps all employees of the organization to develop a healthy respect for diversity and at the same time facilitate mutual understanding cultural diversity major challenge to ob experts is to utilize the wealth of differences provided by cultural diversity but prejudices and stereotypes usually prevent managers and employees from developing synergies that can help the entire organization to combat this problem the strategies can be developed at individual as well as organizational levels the in individual level strategies first one can be live and work outside one's home country be willing to take an overseas assignment whenever there is an opportunity two travel extensively outside one's home country three try to adapt to the customs of the new country while traveling four try to gel with the local residents to get the feel of that country five develop friendships with people from nationalities other than one's own learn about their culture customs the way they conduct business differences and similarities between your own country and their country six one should learn some foreign language which is relevant to the business seven work at developing a non home country perspective on the world events eight carefully read newspapers and periodicals so as to broaden one's understanding of key issues from multinational perspective and lastly before traveling to the other country for business learn in advance about their cultural differences and customs that will affect the way in which business will be conducted there the organizational level strategies can include one offer language training to your employees two encourage all employees to accept non home country work assignment three provide transition counseling to employees and their families before as well as after the non home country transfer four providing training to help employees learn about and be sensitive to cross cultural differences and five examining employment practices of the organization to ensure that no employee is being discriminated purposely or inadvertently due to his or her religion or ethnicity next is gender diversity the feminization of the workforce has increased substantially however stereotyping beliefs about gender often limits one's ability to work closely and effectively with the opposite sex understanding that these beliefs are by and large stereotypes will allow individuals and organizations to move away from discriminating in rating false assumptions while managing and working with diverse groups one way to recognize that there are strengths in both the sexes is that men can gain knowledge of women's managerial style by using apt relationship building skills while women can learn from men's managerial style to be less subtle and more assertive 
and direct, especially while giving instructions. Next one is commitment of top management. In spite of having dedicated diversity management programs, stereotypes have been most common problems faced by the top management in handling diversity. Managers are advised by experts not to treat someone as special just because he or she is a member of an important group, but because of the unique skills or abilities he or she brings to the job, to the extent that managers are trained to seek, recognize, and reward talents of their employees regardless of the group to which they belong. They will help break down the barriers that made diversity training necessary in the first place. Following three steps have been proved very successful in the world-class organizations in management of diversity. One is assessment of diversity in the workplace. Continuous assessment and evaluation of diversity process forms an integral part of the managerial systems of top companies. This assessment is done through customized employee satisfaction surveys. This survey helps to analyze the type of diversity in the organization and various challenges and difficulties of managing it effectively. This also forms the basis for addition of new and elimination or modification of existing diversity policies. Reassessment can determine the success of diversity plan implementation. Second is development of diversity in the workplace plan. For gathering vital information regarding diversity, a survey provider must be chosen carefully. Expertise of survey provider is of utmost importance so that the information provided in the detailed report is true and accurate. This report makes the basis of diversity in the workplace plan. This plan must be comprehensive, achievable, and accessible. The organization must decide changes need to be made and fix the time frame for implementation of this plan. Third is implementation of diversity in the workplace plan. The personal commitment of managerial teams is a must for successful implementation. Managerial leaders must incorporate diversity in the workplace plan into each aspect of the organizational function. Attitudes toward diversity originates at the top and travels down the hierarchy. Therefore, collaboration and involvement of the management is necessary to create a culture conducive to the success of the diversity in the workplace plan. Various steps to increase the awareness about workforce diversity. There are major three steps that can help increase the awareness. First is reducing prejudices and use of stereotypes. It is important to identify and accept the existence of diversity at the workplace and learning to value and respect fundamental differences. Admitting to one's own biases and prejudices with commitment to decrease them. Dismissing myth about diverse others when in a group of friends or associates can also be done. Second is minimizing miscommunication with diverse others. Educating oneself about differences among people by gathering knowledge and enriching one's experience about diverse people. Communicating effectively by listening attentively and asking questions about what one did not understand. Avoiding terms that spotlight certain groups and imply the individual is an exception. And avoiding valuing one's message based on dress, mannerism, accent or eye contact. And third is building relationships with diverse others. Forming positive relationships with diverse others. Seeking feedback from diverse others about how well people are treating them, respecting diverse others and valuing their diversity, and treating diverse others as visitors by showing concern about them rather than treating them as strangers. 
coming to the recommendations for diversity in the workplace solutions first one ward off the resistance to change with inclusion involve every employee possible in formulating and executing diversity initiatives in the workplace foster an attitude of openness in the organization encourage employees to express their ideas and opinions and attribute a sense of equal value to all promote diversity in the leadership positions this practice provides visibility and realizes the benefits of diversity in the workplace utilize diversity training it should be utilized as a tool to shape company's diversity policy launch a customized employee satisfaction survey that provides a comprehensive reporting its results should be used to build and implement successful diversity in the workplace policies so now students let us summarize what we have learned in this module diversity means mixture or multiplicity at workplace it includes variety of various parameters like race sex nationality age personality style of decision making education backgrounds etc workplace diversity refers to the variety of differences among people in an organization it means bringing together people of different ethnic backgrounds religions and age groups into an organized and constructive entity with the advent of communication technology like internet and mobile phones marketplace has become a global concept diversity is not limited to people's perceptions about themselves but it also focuses on how people perceive others in the modern business scenario it is imperative to manage and utilize its diverse wo workforce effectively thus diversity management in the workplace is gaining immense importance and it has become an integral part of the organizational culture effective diversity management can bring perceptible benefits to the organization on the other hand overlooking diversity issues leads to cost in terms of time funds effectiveness some of the major consequences can include unhealthy tensions increased disagreements resulting in lesser efficiency failure to attract and retain talented people of all kinds complaints and legal trials resulting in lost investments in recruitment and training prejudice ethnocentrism stereotypes discrimination harassment and backlash these are the major barriers in the management of diversity efforts to enhance diversity skills focus on improving the interactions among managers and subordinates and their ability to work with different kinds of people guiding managers and other employees about why and how people differ in the ways they think communicate approach issues and situations helps all employees of the organization to develop a healthy respect for diversity and at the same time facilitate mutual understanding continuous assessment and evaluation of the diversity process forms an integral part of the managerial system of top companies this assessment is done through customized employee satisfaction survey The personal commitment of managerial team is a must for successful implementation. Managerial leaders must incorporate diversity in the workplace plan into each aspect of the organizational function. Attitudes towards diversity originate at the top and travel down the hierarchy. Therefore, collaboration and involvement of the management is necessary to create a culture which is conducive to the success of diversity in the workplace plan thank you